Week 19, Day 3, Reform Movement. In order to improve Ruritania's financial position, an astute but parsimonious treasurer was installed and given wide pecuniary powers. All right, let me explain that. Uh, this new ruler, the nephew, uh, hired someone to take care of the finances of the country. And in this place, he put a man who was astute. That means wise or discern discerning. In other words, he handled money well. But he was also parsimonious. And parsimonious means that he was very frugal. He did not spend money quickly. He held on to it tightly until it was absolutely necessary to spend it. And this man was given wide pecuniary powers. That means powers related to money, decisions about money. Pecuniary just has to do with money. He tried to get the little country back on its feet by slashing all waste from its budget. That means he took out of their budgeting plans everything was, that was wasteful. Also, dismantling King Andre's sumptuous palaces. To dismantle something means to take it apart, to remove like all the expensive furnishings in there. In other words, uh, the palace was just taken down, taken apart. Not the building itself, but everything in it. So dismantling his palaces, and those palaces were sumptuous, meaning they were filled with expensive things, um, the very best that had been bought with great amounts of money. And firing all incompetence. That means anybody who had been hired by his uncle who was not doing a good job, he got rid of them. In addition, Prince Schubert was able to get the United States to underwrite a substantial loan that would enable him to start a program of public works. Uh, that means that the United States supported by offering to contribute money. To underwrite something means to put your stamp of approval on it and even to help with it. So they underwrote that loan, meaning they would help provide money for that loan. Even so, Ruritania was still in desperate trouble. The end. Thank you.